Hey sunshines, welcome or welcome back to another video. And as you guys can tell, this is gonna be a what I got for my birthday part two video. So if you have yet to watch part one, I make sure I will leave it down below. Go ahead and check that out and come back here so you can get caught up on all the things that I did get for my birthday. In that first video, I shared all the things that I got from family and friends. In today's video, I'm going to share with you things that I got for them family and friend as it collectively kept coming in as well as things that I got for myself. So if that's something that you will be interested in looking at, make sure you keep on watching. All right, you guys, I know that this video has been kind of like well overdue because I think the last time that I did a what I got for my birthday video was probably a week or so ago, but I wanted to kind of give it a break. However, I'm here today to share with you guys all the things that I got for my birthday, whether it was for family and friends or things that I picked up for myself. I also have a few items that are collectively that mean that because I had a few extra coins for my birthday, I just bought these items for myself. So it really wasn't a rhyme or reason per se of being my birthday or anything like Christmas. I just thought that they was cute and I picked them up and as always, I like to share them with you. So this is gonna probably be a little lengthy video. So get you something to drink, some hot cocoa, some cappuccino, a cute little snack like a cranberry muffin and let's get into it. Okay, so no in particular order because I have things all around me and I know I'm not in my normal setting but in like in my last video i told you i'm doing some new things to the baby cave so my normal you know recording little area is under construction right now hint hint so i hope the lighting and i hope the framing is good so let's get into it i don't know where to start because like i said i got a whole bunch of goodies and i got them in these two reusable bags and you guys I'm just gonna dig in. Um, okay, I'm just gonna dig in. I don't know really where to start, but I'm gonna start. I was trying to do it and categorize like what I got myself and then what I got from family and friends. I'm gonna try to stay on board with that, but as always, I'll let you guys know if I bought it for myself or got it from a family member or friend. So, right, because it's right in front of me. I did an online order to DSW. DSW did send me out a $5 coupon to use towards anything in the store or on the website. And it wasn't really anything particular that I was needing, but we always need socks. So I did search their website and I found these really cute Barbie socks. Um, it has this plain white with pink stripes um, up the top with the word Barbie. And then it has these black and pink pair um, right here, this was originally $9.99, and like I said, I had a $5 coupon, so it made it $5, but I used my Cash App card, and it got additional percentage off, so I paid roughly around, I believe, $3 for this double pack of Barbie socks. Really, really cute. They said they're in the women's size, 4 through 10. However, they're giving very, very small <laughs> However, I think they're still super cute, and I don't own any Barbie socks, so I'm happy to have that right there. Next, I'm, this is right here. I did purchase me here, the tags, me this simple and basic Nike. Um, it's not a hoodie. It's more like a sweatshirt from Ross. I've already worn it. I got it in an oversized. Um, I got it in a size 3X, and I knew I wanted it to be oversized for that, you know, more casual and loose look. And like I said, I got it from Ross and it was originally $60 from the Nike store. But you know what, our good friend Ross, you get it for a really great deal. And I don't have the tag for that, but if I had to guess, it was $20. So I got myself that. I got me another bag from Ross. I picked up another casual leisure wear from Ross when I picked up that black Nike sweatshirt. And I found this really pretty pink hoodie. You know, you, I love this shade of pink. 
and I got this as well, oversized. Although I'm a plus size woman, I really don't tend to get oversized items because I don't want anything to accentuate my silhouette, making me look larger. However, I'm like, scratch all that. I want to be comfortable. I want to be cozy. So I did get this in a 3X as well. No, I'm sorry, a 2X. And this one was $24.99. And this one is in a hoodie style. As that other one is just a regular sweatshirt. I hope I'm in frame so you can see. It does have this little pocket situation going on down here. Something I could just throw on with some jeans, some leggings, some really cute Nikes or whatever. Be really cute and cozy. And, you know, here in the state of Texas, our weather is crazy. So, right now, we're not in a need for a heavy coat. So, this will do me just fine. I love that color. Next, I got me something from Burlington. It looks like just two items. So, I was in the market for a new pair of jeans. And I saw these jeans in Burlington. It's like a light denim um, wash. Um skinny leg and it was on clearance for $7.69 now they say these are from Old Navy which is new to me I checked them I inspected them to make sure they didn't come returned looked like they was used however I did do some research and I found out that sometimes Burlington does get other brands in their inventory I did get these jeans oversized this is a size 26 I do not wear a 26. I'm more so like a 22. Depends on how it's made. I can probably get in a 24 and it'll be a really, really loose fit. But like I said about the hoodies, I don't get nothing really, really big to, you know, accentuate my, my size and making me look bigger or larger, if you will, than I already am. However, this is not a 26 on me. This is more so a 22 or 24. Very re relaxed fit. However, I was in the market for some new light wash jeans. So I got this pair from Burlington. I love the fact that it doesn't have any distressing or anything. Just a basic, simple pair of jeans. So I got that. Next from Burlington, as I was in the, as y'all call the Q line, I came across these really cute pale pink, baby pink, if you will, Barbie slippers. I don't need no more slippers. I, I swear, it's like I'm always picking up slippers, but the slippers that I'm looking for, I cannot find. So like I said, I picked these up from Burlington, and it was $6.99. And it's just this really soft, like light pink color, like a Sherpa material with the word Barbie on the toe. And it has this little loop thing in the back that I haven't seen before on slippers. So yeah, I thought that was super cute. I don't own any Barbie slippers. I'm still hunting for the pair that's been sourcing around um, Instagram. It's like that magenta pink color. You know the traditional Barbie color, but I have yet to find it. If I find it, cool. If I don't, Cool. I got these and this will work right here. I'm trying to go in 2024 not being a hoarder. I'm trying to stop buying obsessively um, and just, just, you know, buying things just because they're cute or because I see someone else have it. I'm trying to not go in 2024 doing that. Okay. Next, I got me an item that... um. I purchased from Starbucks for quite some time ago, I believe like the end of November. I shared it with you guys on my Instagram. And it's just a Starbucks holiday cup in this really pretty silver metallic color. This cup was my last purchase, I believe. Yes, my last purchase for myself besides the one my husband bought for me that I shared with you guys in my um, last haul. And when I see my last purchase, meaning it's something I bought for myself. And this cup was $30, and that is why. It has to be a really, really cute cup for me to actually get it. Because, you know, 
a few of you guys know, I used to collect Starbucks cup. Not everything, just the cute ones, but when they have price point increase, I just stopped investing in them because they're not insulated. It doesn't keep your drinks cool or anything like that. So I just really stopped investing in them, but I always wanted a silver metallic cup. Even when they came out with the studded one, I think I missed that one like two times because it came back around. However, I got this and I think I'm done. So, yeah. Let me see where I can put this baby. Okay. Next, I picked up some goodies from Home Goods. And like I said, these are all items that I just grabbed for myself because I had a little extra birthday coins and I just thought that they was cute. I shared these items on Instagram some time ago, so you probably already be familiar with them. So I got lucky and found the Hello Kitty Impressions Makeup Brush, and this is the super cute signature brush set. So it's the set with the white background with Hello Kitty face all over it with the white handle. I do know that there are several different prints. Um, this does have gold as the hardware if you will i know there's some that has silver hardware there's some that has black and white handles i i've seen about two to three different prints and i got this from tj maxx for 19.99 i am so excited to now be sharing it with you guys so i can go ahead and start using them because i've been holding off on this stuff for quite some time next i got me the Crim Shop and Hello Kitty skincare set. I also shared with you guys this on Instagram. I've been wanting this for quite some time. When I first saw it, I just did not want to pay $24.99 for this set. But after learning that the individual pieces will kind of add up to that price, being that these are travel size, and you get this really cute bag, it's kind of win-win, so I went ahead and got it, trying to show out for my birthday, and I'm glad I did because I can really use a lot of these pieces. So, to my understanding, it has a double cleanser, a brightening serum, a clarifier toner, and a dewy water cream. This is the list of everything that I have. And like I said, this really cute bag that you could also use if you want to have this bag right here. This will be super cute while traveling. So if you can get your hands on this, that'll be super cute. And I absolutely love the little zipper pulls with the cute little bows. So yes, I'm really, really happy about that. And next from TJ Maxx, let's see what this is. Oh, I was able to get lucky and find the Hello Kitty little trinket tray. Now, I know some people are using them for, like, dessert trays. I really wouldn't do that. I mean, you could, but I'm going to use it here in the babe cave as a trinket tray. Maybe put it on my coffee bar area to lay my spoons down on it so it won't stain my, my coffee cart or whatever, but I definitely would not be eating out of it. And this cutie was only $9.99 from Home Goods. You could also put it on your vanity and put your earrings, your necklaces, or whatever. And you could do a lot of things with it. So I'm glad that I was able to get my hands on that. Next down in this bag, I don't know why it's down in here, but I have an Amazon piece. So let's see what I have in here. Okay, so I do have a Hello Kitty piece right here. So this is a Hello Kitty luggage tag. Chip did get this for me. I've been wanting this Hello Kitty luggage tag in this shade of pink for quite some time, but I could never get lucky um, in store. So he just ordered it online and it was $9.99. And as you can see, there's one missing and I will share with you what that one looked like. But this one right here is just a Hello Kitty bow and here's what the other one looked like it's just the hello kitty face and i have her on my hello kitty traveling duffel bag that i purchased from marshall's for 34.99 
Everybody already been raving about this duffel bag. I was so excited when I got my hands on it. I think it's absolutely cute and so perfect and ideal for traveling because Hello Kitty is in her cute little pink car. All the Amazon items that are available, I'll make sure they're linked down below as well as in my Amazon storefront. Okay, and lastly from Amazon, I did pick up a purse strap and it's really cute pink magenta color. I will be using this to accessorize my Juice Couture fur bag. You know how we do it. We drape it kind of like this with the two top handles. That is why I perched it. And it also has this gold detail, which I thought was really cute to accentuate um, the gold hardware in the bag. And I'll make sure I leave that down below. I love the fact that it's not solid. It's more like a see-through clear acrylic not clear but pink acrylic with the gold detail i love that so i got that and i believe that was not no 6.99 but i make sure i leave everything down below so you guys won't have to do no guessing okay that is all that came out of that first bag why is right here in front of me because i do not want to forget about it i did purchase myself a wall art from Ross and it's in this Valentino print. I've had this some quite some time. I was trying to decide whether or not I was going to keep it or not because I do have quite a few art pieces on my wall, but I'm trying to elevate my space more so, you know, kind of grownish and not more so kiddish. You know, a lot of my prints are very grown and sexy, but it's a, there are a few that I would like to switch out. So when I saw this, I was like, it screams grown sexy boss lady if you will so i got this from ross and i believe it was only 12.99 super cute i am looking for one more if i do find that i'll share that with you guys as well but i believe it's like uh chanel inspired with all the stack of books and i think a not a puppy i believe a pair of heels i don't own any Chanel per se, but I do have a couple of pieces that have the word Chanel. Like I have one over here in this corner that has the word Chanel on it. It was like a stack of books. Y'all will see a whole new updated room tour real, real soon. I'm trying to wait to get some more pieces in from Ikea. Every time I go in to get a couple of pieces, they're either out of stock or no longer in, um, you know, available. However, they're not available for me to purchase. So I'm trying to get all those pieces um you know before i share the new room tour with you guys okay you guys let's keep it rolling so the hubby was kind enough to get me some fenty for my birthday he normally get me fenty around birthdays and anniversaries and he got me a couple of pieces i would like to share with you guys now if you're one to be like oh i don't want to see that like we're not all grown we all wear if you're female wear panties and bras so if you want to be just just close your eyes because you know we all females here and they're all brand new so i'm not going to show you anything used or anything like that but i do want to share with you guys just in case you may or may not be in the market for any of these items and i hate to have said to have, have said that but i know some people on here do get offended by looking at under undergarments so just a disclaimer Okay, so he got me a couple pieces, and let's see. I was trying to find the piece to go for that. Okay, this is right in front of me. I haven't opened them yet, so he did get me the bralette, the C7, not sorry, bralette, and something T blue. And I did get a size four. Now, if you know anything about Fenty, you will know why I got a size four. Yeah, it's air crazy. Um, so let's go ahead and open up this. I love Fenty pieces. Chip love Fenty pieces for me. <laughs> they really, really pretty. It does come with a lot of plastic. So here is the bralette 
super super pretty this is chip's favorite color so it's more like a a royal blue color like a purplish bluish color really really pretty and like i said i did get it in a size 4x which is of course equivalent to my size which my size is a 44 triple d so i got that and i did get the matching bottom Here's the matching bottom. Really pretty and sexy. I love the little keyhole detail right there in the back. So pretty, so feminine. So I like that a lot. So I got that set. Next, I got a couple of casual sets, everyday sets. Um, I got two, and this is the bralette c-core microfiber bralette in heavy pink so it's this kind of fuchsia pinkish purple color you know i had to look for me some pink somewhere but they didn't have a lot of the regular pink like you know regular pink color in my size So I just got this color right here. I know the camera probably not doing it any justice. And it's probably coming off purple, but it's actually like a fuchsia pink. You can kind of do a color comparison with my Barbie Christmas sweater back there that I have yet to wear. So I got this. And I got the matching bottom. I was wondering if it had a Fenty logo on it like my other sets that I own that I bought like the beginning of the year. So here is the bottom. And it does have a Fenty logo right here in the upper corner right here. Is that like a rose gold? Yes, yeah, like a pretty rose gold. Super pretty. So this is gonna be like my everyday pieces and I also got it in a chocolate color and this is called of course the same thing but it's called the essence bralette in mahogany I just thought that color was really really pretty and it'll be really pretty on my skin tone Just got the brown one. Super pretty. And the panties are called the hipsters. I hope I'm giving y'all a good description just in case y'all are interested in these. And I will try to make sure I leave all the information to these items down below. These are the same as the, no, they're a little bit different. So this set right here has the word Fenty Savage. If you can see it on the strap right here and it don't have a logo on it anywhere that I can see. We already discovered it has a logo on the panty. It does have Fenty Savage on the strap on this chocolate one. But as I was looking, it didn't have a logo on this, but it does have the Fenty Savage on the waistband. Can y'all see that? So they are different. When you're on Fenty, you have to really, really pay attention to details because you can get easily confused thinking you're purchasing a matching piece, but they're different in very small details. So just pay attention. But that's really cute. I like that for me. It's almost kind of like it's seamless. Like when I want to wear leggings, it'll be seamless. So 
And lastly, oh, the hubby had got him a pair of boxers, so we don't want to see that. Okay, next I have a couple pieces from Ulta. Now, one of these pieces are a gift from my good friend, Angel. Angel was kind enough to send me some coins to get an item from Ulta that I've been wanting. And what I've been wanting is a new Dior lip gloss. So I got the Dior Attic Lip Maximizer. I do own one already. And it was this other color that I wanted. I wanted a total of three in my collection, like a shimmer, a pink, and a nude. So this is my second one. Maybe i get another one for Christmas or Valentine's Day. But um, yes, Angel was kind enough to send me coins so I could purchase this. So thank you, Angel, so much. Um, so, like I said, it's the Dior Attic Lip Maximizer. And I got the color 013. And here it is. It's just this really pretty, soft, new color. I absolutely love it. Like, oh my God, it's like the perfect shade. And it doesn't come out all, you know, chalky looking or anything like that. See? Excuse me if I'm sweating or whatever. I've had a hot shower this morning. I had a cup of coffee. So all that is coming out. That is so pretty. So it's like a... Oh, gosh. It's like a sheer nude. I'm not really looking at a mirror. I'm looking at my viewfinder on my camera. So, but I absolutely love this. I highly would recommend you can get it from Ulta. It's a regular $40, but they're always having coupons and deals. So you can get you a nice collection for the low low. Next from Ulta, while the hubby was in there, I was telling him that I wanted to collect a couple more Dior pieces. So he was kind enough to get me a Dior blush so this is the dior rosy glow and i got it in the color 006 berry and this is the color right here i do want to collect another one and i believe that's going to be in the rosewood i believe i don't want to blind you guys but this is the color so cute for the spring and summer. I can rock this now because of my skin complexion. I hope y'all guys can see it. It's like this beautiful, rosy, burgundy-ish, soft burgundy -ish color. Super, super pretty. And the packaging is so pretty, so pretty. So thank you, hubby, for that. This will be my first blush. I just worked my way up to having a nice collection. And lastly, from Ulta, I did get my birthday gift. You know, your birthday is not official until you get your free item from Ulta and Sephora and so forth. So this year, I got a Clinique item, and it's the Moisture Surge 100H Auto Replenishing Hydrator. I haven't tried it out yet, but... I'm excited because you guys know I love me a good skincare piece. Okay, let's keep it moving. So it looks like I have some more items from Rose. Oh, so this is my Coach Perfume. I already shared with you guys this gem right here. That's why it's already open. You guys know when I first saw it in Rose. I didn't purchase it, and I went back for it. It was gone. Then I came across, excuse that railing, you guys, came across the original um, Coach perfume, um, the original Coach signature perfume, but I could not find the pink one. So this is the Coach Blossom, and I stumbled across it not too long ago, and it was, I believe, $29.99, which is an amazing price because in, like, um... I believe Macy's and I believe Ulta carries it. You know, of course, it's going to be 
way more expensive. And this is a 1.7 fluid. No, I take that back. That's a one fluid ounce bottle for $30. So win-win. And plus the packaging is to die for. Look at this packaging. You guys know that it's my color. So just imagine it sitting on my vanity or on my new Ikea piece that I'm trying not to say nothing about. It's just going to be a whole aesthetically pleasing vibe. Like, it's definitely going to be a vibe. So I'm super excited for this new fragrance. You guys know I've been collecting fragrances for a while. I normally get a fragrance or two for my birthday and for Christmas. So I bought this for myself. However, I think... I am going to make it a thing to buy myself a fragrance for my birthday or for Christmas. I think I'm going to do it for Christmas, but I'm going to let my family and friends start buying my fragrances. But it does smell absolutely good. It smells very fruity and floral, but not overpowering, if that makes sense. Like, you can... um. Get the hint of the, the the fruitness, but it's not over. It's not sweet, sweet like a sugar, a sugar rose. It's very pretty and dainty. Definitely a spring and summer scent. I just cannot put my hand on that. That I just can't put my hand on it. I try to leave as much information down below. Because I know a lot of you guys was hitting me up about it on Instagram. Because, of course, the packaging is super cute. Then it has a cute little coach hang tag, like, on the bag. So cute. Okay, it's dried down a little bit, so I could probably pick it up. So, it's very fruity. Hence a floral. I smell jasmine in it. And you guys know I'm more gravitated towards warmer, muskier scents. Depends on the season, but I also love the essence and I appreciate soft notes, girly floral notes. I do appreciate that, but for the most part, I love rich, warm, musky scents, especially around the fall and winter, but I could appreciate this definitely for the spring and summer because I cannot put my hands on it, and normally I'm really, really well with notes. But it's really pretty, and I highly would recommend it. So if you can get your hands on this Coach Blossom from, like, Ross and Burlington, please do so, especially for this price point. Really, really good. And I think I've also seen it at TJ Maxx. Just check out all the stores because around this time of year, all the stores be trying to get their hands on, um, you know, fragrance and uh, perfume sets. For the holiday. Okay, let's keep it moving, you guys, because we got quite a bit. So next, these few items are not anything particular. I think I just bought them just because they was, you know, cute, and I wanted to have them. So it's not a rhyme or reason, like, for my birthday anything. So, okay, so I got a Juicy Couture piece. I've been wanting a Red Heart for quite some time when I was collecting Juicy, oh my gosh, two to three years ago, I was finding all the cute pinks, floral print, black heart, but never a red heart. So this is their new print, and I found this. Um, it was only $9.99, and I was like, I gotta have this for my, you know, Valentine bag set up. So I got that. And I also want to say that this is different. I think the other hearts is just with the word juicy, like a gold juicy plaque across. This is so different. And I'm here for I was just looking at it like, that's really, really cute. And this is called the Cool Red. Follow your heart. Zip around. I'm sorry. I didn't even share with you guys the information. Cute, right? So different. Let's see what else we got in this bag. Keep a receipt. Okay, so I picked up another coach piece from Ross. And this is a coach body mist. And it's in the scent Legacy. I know it's clear. I hope you guys can see it. 
It's a legacy. I haven't seen anything like this prior, prior to my shopping trip. But I smelled it and it smelled really nice. It was only $11.99. Did a little research on it. It's pretty pricey. And I see a couple people are reselling it on Macari and Poshmark. I'm guessing just for profit or I don't know if they don't like it or not. But it's they're reselling it uh, for higher price, of course. But I actually, I actually do like it. Um, I just sprayed the other perfume. So... My nose haven't cleared out yet, but I really do like it. I'm going to come back and tell you guys what I really think about it after I get that um, blossom out of my nose. But when I did smell it in store, of course, I liked it or I wouldn't have purchased it. What else did I get from Rose? So I just got a basic tea tank, white tank. You can always use these in your wardrobe. You all ways need these whites, blacks, neutral color tanks in your wardrobe. They are staples and mines to put up on the shirts, sweaters, to layer things, especially around this time of year. And this was only $4.99. And I typically do get all my tanks from Ross because of the quality. Being that I have a larger chest, I love the fact that it does have stretch, but it does bounce back. So, it don't look all loose and baggy and unput together on me. And I also love the fact that it does have, you know, like weight control or, you know, body control, if you will, on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you see the difference in the fabric right here. It has some kind of ribbing right there. It's supposed to be some kind of, you know, shapewear <laughs> built in. All right. Got another bag from Rose. Is this? No, this is Marcus. What is this? Oh my gosh, I really forgot about this stuff. This is how long I've had this stuff. All right, you guys, let's get through this. We can do it. Okay. First things first, another Hello Kitty piece. <laughs> so, this is the Hello Kitty Bluetooth Wireless Eye Mask. So, it has. um the capability to stream music. Um, it's USB rechargeable. This is what it looks like. I remember when I found this, everybody was in my DM because I did do a story on it. And they were like, I hope you got that. I hope you got it. Yes, I got it. I think I'm going to use it in my travel bag. So when I travel, I have something to help me relax. Because sometimes I do get a little bit of anxiety when traveling for a long period of time. And it just looks super cool. So this was $14.99 from Marshalls. Super, super cute. I know a lot of girls are looking for this. Next, I think we're... Okay, we're probably at the really uh, the end of the video. Um, this is just peppermint syrup. These are items that I've had in this shopping bag for quite some time. This is supposed to have been on my coffee bar. So I got it for $4.99 from Marshalls. But now I have it for Valentine's. And I'm beating myself up because I have a cute little hot cocoa little plaque that I got from Marshalls for $6.99 and I forgot all about it. But it says I can use it through March. You see that? But I probably won't. But yeah, I just thought that was super cute to add to my coffee bar. So I have that. Where can I put this? I'm running out of space. So that is all that I have for is my shopping bag. And I have three more items to share with you guys. And they are like the gem of the video. Because I've shared them with you guys already on Instagram. But I want to share them with my people here. Just in case y'all don't follow me on Instagram. Which you should. At Pink Madame. As well as Lil to Shine for all my home decor and lifestyle content. Okay, so first thing first, I want to share with you guys my new baby. So this is the Coach Dipsy Carry All and the color True Plink. I've shared with you guys already this beauty. This is what I gifted myself for my birthday. And I already accessorized it with this really cute 
charm that I got from Amazon that I've talked about before is not really a coach charm per se. The C's does resemble the C in the coach logo. So I just think it's so fitting. Um, I'll make sure I leave all that down below. But I just thought this was super cute. My plan was to originally drape it like this. However, it doesn't fit because of how the handles are constructed. But that's cute dangling like that with the coach hang tag. So, yeah, this is the um, Dempsey Carry All in True Pink. And I just absolutely love it. I don't own a coach piece like this. I love the fact that it has feet. But I get all into that, you know, when I do a what's in my bag video. I did get the matching um, wallet card holder, however you want to, you know, say it. I did get that piece. And I also got the matching zip around pouch. So, yes, these are items that I gifted myself for my birthday. And I'm so excited to get more into detail about this bag and put, you know, cute accessories in and all that good stuff. But I wanted to at least share with you guys, show you guys what I got. I'm about to forget other stuff behind me. That's how much stuff I have. Next, I got another coach piece that I purchased myself for my birthday. Let's open it up and see what I got. I know this video is all over the place, you guys, but that's one of the reasons y'all love me, right? Because this is authentic content. It's like not trying to be perfect, just going with the flow. Can y'all guess what it is? Ah! So it is the Coach Horse and Sleigh mini city tow. Now, I can be honest with you guys. When I first purchased this, I did not <laughs> know it was the horse and sleigh. I thought it was the regular horse and carriage because you know I do have a horse and carriage city tow. No, ma'am. I was drawn to the color. It was a good sale price. I believe my Dempsey was like 145 and all the accessories was like the wallet was like maybe 57 The pouch was like 30 This was under $100. So I was on the roll. I was like, these are some great pieces for great prices. Let me get them. But I can honestly say I did not believe that I checked to see what I was purchasing when I purchased this beauty right here. But it's cute. I'm going to keep it. And I absolutely love it because it represents the winter and all that cute stuff. So yeah, this is the... Horse and sleigh mini city tote. And you can see this is a sleigh, not a carriage. You see all those cute little snowflakes? But it's super cute. And this color is brown and rogue. So, yeah, I got this. And it has two top handles. So cute. Perfect for those, you know, little shopping trips. So cute. I'm in a market to find accessories for her. She sold out right now, and it looks like I'm going to have to get a couple pieces off Poshmark or Macari. I really don't want to, but uh, I don't want to carry my bag without no accessories. So, yeah, it doesn't have any feet, but like I said, with the Dempsey, I get all into all that good stuff when I do a what's in my bag, and hopefully soon. If not, y'all will see this beauty again next year. Okay, one more. I got... What you bringing me? What is that? It's your package for your sister. Oh, my sister. I got another package, you guys. Chip just brought in me a package from my sister. Okay, just put it right there. Okay, so got one more bag that I gifted myself. This bag is from Aldo. And this is the, I believe, the Serenity bag in silver. Yes. Can y'all see that? So, I've always wanted a silver bag. I purchased a piece from Timu, but the bag was just too, too little. I have a pair of sneakers um, that has some silver um, detailing in it, and I need a really cute silver bag. So, Aldo sent me a birthday coupon. I believe it was like 20% off. I couldn't use the, the um, 
the discount on the item that I wanted. But this bag was on sale for a really, really great price. I believe it was like 75% off. I believe this bag is originally like $70, but I got it for like 20, 30 years, something around there. But I make sure I leave all this information down below. So like I said, I got a cute Aldo bag and it's called Serenity. And I just think she's absolutely fierce, baby. As you can see, it has the word Aldo up here. It did come with this cute little little detail right here. It has Aldo right here on this little, little charm looking thing right here. But I just thought this bag was absolutely shawl, honey. Not too big, not too small, just right. I just hate that Aldo don't have coordinating wallets. It does have this Aldo plaque in the back. It doesn't have any feet. But like all the other bags, I get more into detail when I do a what's in my bag video. Because y'all know I'm going to give y'all one. Y'all know that. Okay. I just realized I got one more bag that I had behind me. I'm going to share with you. And then Chip just told me that I got a delivery for a, for a gift from my sister, Keithia, in Alabama. So I've shared with you guys already. I did stick my head into Victoria's Pink, and I picked up a couple of accessories. I was trying to wait till they send my annual sale, but with the hopes of getting these items, I just didn't want to play any type of games. I've been wanting Victoria's Secret accessories for quite some time. I always thought that they was cute, but the price point was just, it was bigger than me. And I was just like, I can't see myself paying $30 for a non-brand wallet. You know what I'm saying? But I did get it for a good deal. So I got me a couple pieces. Now I'm looking for a tote to go with all these accessories. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing first, I did get me, let me put me a little. I did get me the Victoria's Secret and the Iconic Stripe card holder. I talked about this in my last video, but I'm going to share it with you guys again. But I'm not going to spend too much detail on it. Original price, $19.95, but I got it way less than that. I did get me the Zip Around Wallet. Super cute. I do love the fact how that stripe is like that and it's like that. And it does exactly what it says. It zips around. Super cute. I cannot wait to do a whole what's in my bag video on those pieces. I did get me the, um, I believe this is a card holder too, but it's like a card holder and wallet in one. Did I need all these pieces? No, but I got them. <laughs> because a lot of these pieces, excuse me, was purchased at a really good deal. And I did have some um, a Victoria's Secret birthday points, money, or whatever you want to call it. So this wallet right here, I'm sorry, was $29.95. And this was $19.95. And it does have a ID window. Oh. In the back, I do love the fact that this class is way larger super cute but like i said i'll get more into detail on it when i do a whole what's in my bag video i did finally get me a whatever y'all call these the wristlets the straps or whatever you know all the pink girlies got this i just think they're so super cute but the latest one that deep rich pink I could not get my hands on it for nothing, so I'm still in the market for that. I hope they bring that back. I refuse to pay third-party price, resale price, because I believe they're selling it for $40 and $50. Who? Not your girl. No, I'm a lot of things, but I ain't no fool. And last from my Victoria's Secret shopping experience, I did purchase this duo um, makeup bag, essential bags, whatever you want to call it. So it does have an opening right here and it has an opening right here, which I do love. I can put my cosmetic back here and my bathroom essentials up here. However, because I don't typically take a lot of makeup with me, so I can put my bathroom essentials up here and my makeup, you know, item down here since I don't take a lot. Mainly a compact, a lip gloss. If I'm wearing lashes, made my lash glue, some tweezers or, or whatever. 
So yeah, I got this and this one was $29.95 as well. So I got this and this buy one get one free from Victoria's Secret. And I ordered these pieces and I used some of my birthday funds. Um, whatever they had gave me. So I think I paid Eleven dollars is a change with this, and then I use my cash out card, and then I had a discount on there because y'all need to really take advantage if you have a cash out card. I use my cash out card for like, excuse my language, fuck around purchases. So I just have money sitting there to just blow on the internet, um, because you could use that and get discounts, um, like Target, Coach, DSW, even restaurants. You get additional discounts for, you know while using your card I'm, I'm saying that right so i purchased this separately but i ordered this through the victoria's secret store and used my birthday fund it that's what i'm trying to say y'all i'm just so amped up um so yeah i got this as well for a really good deal i think it was like buy one get one free too so i think i paid twenty dollars for this and ten dollars for this and thirty for that and then i used my cash card so that's even less discount either way it was a really really good so enough of that that is all that i want to share with you for as my what i got for my birthday what i bought for my birthday all that good stuff so next let's see what my husband just brought in from my sister kithia i was expecting this but not today today is christmas eve so i didn't know the mail was going to even be running how get it open it's already open. Maybe he opened it because he knew I was recording already. Let's see what I got, you guys. Oh, my God. We got some cute earmuffs in my favorite shade of pink. Oh, my God. These are so stinking cute. So, these are hot pink. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Look at the cute little rhinestones on it. Thank you, sissy. <laughs> these are so cute will it ever get that cold here in texas probably not but the fact that i have them thank you sis so much i love these these are so cute and it's by the brand steve madden can y'all see that so cute i love these okay and this next I, oh that's for chip so yeah because i see a man body on here. What is this? I'm being nosy. <laughs> I'm being nosy. All right, you guys. That is all I have to share with you guys. I hope you guys truly have enjoyed it. Merry Christmas. I know I probably won't see you guys till after Christmas again. So I want to make sure I say Merry Christmas from my family to yours. I hope you all have a blessed and beautiful day. Stay warm. Stay safe and love love on your family oh it's so much i want to say but i hope y'all guys really did truly enjoy this video i know it was a little bit all over the place but y'all know that's just the way things be so make sure you like comment subscribe tell a friend and tell a friend i'll catch y'all on my next one bye